everybody all right so today I wanted to do a video on like the white girls wig buying guide because I get a ton of questions about where I get my wigs um, where what some brands are for the lighter lace and then just if they don't have a wig store around them where they can get uh, um, or what are some good options for wigs online um, so first option um, you need to choose whether you want synthetic or human hair. So the first thing I would say is really figure out, do you just want to play around and figure out if wigs will look kind of good on you or if that's really what, something you want to do and you don't want to put a good, a good amount of money into it yet, then I would say synthetic. Um, you can get some decent synthetic wigs that looked a lot, very natural, but they do take a lot more upkeep in my opinion. Um, I would say that after my journey with trying to figure out which wigs I should buy, um, I probably will never buy a synthetic wig again. I will just buy human hair wigs. They last a lot longer. Um, they are more expensive, but I have never felt that I've better about having a full head of hair on my head. Not to say the synthetic wigs weren't nice, um, just this really feels as natural as I can get to having a full head of hair again. Um, so. That is one thing that you need to decide, and I'll kind of do another video on how or how to choose between synthetic and human hair. So, but if you are thinking synthetic for for lighter skin tone, um, and you're not trying to spend a lot of money, uh, ozone or A plus ozone wigs are very decent. They give you a lot amount of, a good amount of lace. Um, where you have that parting space, because without that parting space, it does not look natural. Um, it, on your on your head or when you're wearing it so make sure that you are looking for about two and a half to three inches of lace and I find that ozone gives you that um, amount of parting space the other brand that I have tried that has the lighter lace is um, Lord and Cliff and the one that I was wearing in my how to put on a wig video um, was a shorter length style and it has very nice light lace or light lace on the wig and it is about two Two, two and a half inches of parting space. Not as much on that one, but it is a decent amount. Um, so I would say go with those types of brands. I have bought the um, Janet Collection. I have bought uh, the Free Trust Equal. I have bought... Um, Oh, let's see what else have I bought. I've bought some eBay wigs as well and just really didn't get the same... Um, it just didn't get what I wanted out of those wigs just because of the lace color. Um, I've bought Model Model. Model Model was one that was too dark for me. I showed that in my other video. Um, it looks okay on camera, but it does not look normal in person. Um, so those are two brands that I would say I would I would buy again if I needed to buy a synthetic wig. Um, so check them out. You can get them pretty much anywhere. There's LHB. There are um, your local wig store will have the the. The Lord, some of them have the Lord and Cliff. Um, I've also seen many, many other uh, black hair spray. Sometimes has the Lord and Cliff, not always. Um, so there's our hair sisters. There's a lot of different places that will have the Azano, the Ozone A plus wigs and Lord and Cliff. So I would, I would stick, I would go with those to start. And if you find something better, then great. But those are the two that I've kind of come to love as far as synthetic. Now, if you're going human hair, um, which is definitely the preferred, I would say definitely check out RB RPG Show online. Um, they are a Chinese manufacturer, uh, but they were quick. They I had no problem with any payment or anything like that. Um, and I did order two wigs two different times from them. Um, the one I have on right now is a human hair uh, custom lace wig. Um, very, very nice parting. Um, it's dark right here but it you can see right down to my, like it looks like scalp underneath which is what I like and the quality of the human hair is it gives you back everything that you maybe lost with your with your hair loss so um so I would check out some full lace human hair wigs those are going to be the closest to what you had before you lost all your hair 
um, and you have the ability to get a lighter lace. Now I know RPG Show just right off the bat, they have a transparent, they have a light beige, they have a medium beige, and then they have a brown, like a dark brown. Um, I went with uh, light beige because I do have a little bit darker complexion than most just because of my Italian background. So I did go back and forth whether I wanted transparent or not, um, and I may try one out the next time because the, sometimes the light beige is a little dark depending on the time of the year. Like right now, it's winter and my skin tone is a little lighter. Um, so it's just something to consider, but they do give you those options and you can send in your measurements and the hair is going to come out exactly the size of your head. Um, so also there are, there are plenty, plenty other places online that you can get full lace wigs, but the RPG show, like I said, was one of the ones that I found was, which was a lower price and they were very good about some some of their things. But by no means is this a plug for their wigs. Um, it was just something that was something that I tried that I liked. So feel free to check them out. They have a lot of good colors. This is a number two. Um, it's a little bit darker. They also have like threes or fours, which get a little bit lighter, but make sure you look at their color charts because their four is way different than any other four I've looked at before. So take a look at their colors. They go all the way to blonde, uh, but so does also some other places such as um, the royalty wigs, um, and I think Sassy Sister or Sassy Secret, Sassy Secret, they have a lot of different range in colors and the lace choices, and then definitely if you get the chance, you want to get the super bleached knots, because if they are not bleached, they're going to show up a lot more like dots instead of hair growing, growing right out of your head. So I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or anything, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!